Hi everybody, my name is Shannon. Welcome to my channel, Another Yarn. Thank you so much for joining me today. I greatly appreciate it. Oh my goodness, I know my eyes are all sleepy and everything else. It is still dark, right? It's it's morning-ish. Puppy got me up. Wind is going nuts. Uh, for those that are not aware, I do have a puppy. He's he's kind of afraid of some things. He's a little feral, not, not a lie. And uh, when there's thunder or anything else like that, heavy wind, he he tends to get a little stressed. And uh, yeah, it's it's early. It's early. So uh, let him out to go to the bathroom, brought him back in and went, oh, wait, you don't have a video. You should probably get up and record a video so maybe it can get out today. That's a good idea. So uh, yeah, that's that's where I'm at with this. You know, got the sleepy eyes and everything else. The sun will be up in a bit. You know what I was thinking? Not not today because I gotta I gotta work in the office. But one of these mornings that I get up like this because it's still dark out. Wouldn't it be kind of cool if I did like an impromptu live and just sat out? I can't do it today, man. I'm telling you what, the camera and everything blow away. But I sat on the back deck and started a live, and you can watch the sun come up. Yeah, I thought about that the other day. I thought that sounded really fun. Um, It'd have to be impromptu for me too, because it'd be one of those like, oh, look, I'm awake before the sun and uh, yeah, I'm awake and feel like chatting. So one of these days I'll do that because it does sound cool. I don't know how many people would show up. You never know, right? Um, you know, because I, I don't know, I have to be awake. But uh, I thought that was kind of a neat thing. I was reading comments. It, oh my gosh, there's one that just cracked me up. It's like, holy cow, it's like my little chicken. And it said, admit it, admit it. You stuffed it with bulky yarn. Oh my God, that is hilarious. I stuffed this chicken mostly with scraps. No bulky yarn was harmed in the making of this chicken. My bulky's okay. But I did find that humorous because yesterday, my entire crochet time that I had, I was working on my bulky yarn project. I really, really was. I am crocheting something, okay? Can't tell you what, because that's a surprise for my a uh, bulky project that I'm making with my crochet duel with the armchair chef, Lori at the armchair chef. If you're not familiar with that, Lori called me out. I'm not a particular fan of using the bulky yarn. I, you know, that's fine. If you like it, that's, that's perfect. I like the smaller yarns or I prefer the smaller yarns. That's a good way to put it. And, uh, she prefers the larger yarns. So she called me out. I have to make something with bulky yarn of a substantial size, and this is already a substantial size. And uh, she has to make something with smaller yarn that she's not normally comfortable with and everything. So she's working on her projects, I'm working on mine. We're gonna have a live the first week of July. We're not sure the exact date yet, but um, I know she's got time off then. I think I've got time off then, so we can come up with something, right? So that is what that is all about. And it was really kind of funny because I was working with my project and I showed it to my husband. You know, I mean, it's pretty easy to see it's, it's big. And, uh, he's like, what, what are, what are you doing? And I, I, uh, displayed it and everything. He's like, oh yeah, no wonder you don't like big yarn. I'm like, I, I know I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to do what it's supposed to do. And I'm trying to, you know, all the, all the stuff that's, that, uh, belongs with the, the bulky yarn project. And he's like, yeah, you're, you're not good with that, are you? No, 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 I'm not. No, I'm not, right? But, and then I've been getting the bulky yarn, like I said. So my friend Susan sent me the two mega cakes right here. And Lori sent me these. Now, these are really pretty. These, I mean, the mega cakes are pretty too. These are nice. These would make good hats, right? Um, I think so. With that gray and everything, nice family hats. Big, And it's it's got a wool blend on this. And then Lori sent me this the Nimbus paints. And this is really nice. This is a number five bulky, but this is a bulky I could get behind. You know what I mean? I mean, some of them are better than others. Uh, so this one's really, really pretty. This has 164 yards. It's a number five bulky. It's 96% Mako cotton, 4% nylon, and it feels amazing. So uh, I'd still like to come up with something with this. I have a uh, something else that I'm working on and it's not done yet. And I'm telling myself no more bulky projects till I get that one done. And I'm not going to lie. When I first got called out, I, um, I started that and then hair, hair, I started that. And then, you know, like a lot of things, I set it down. Oh, it was right there. 
it was right there in my face. It's yeah, but uh, I set it down because I like to work on other stuff. Uh, so yesterday I was a good little girl and I picked it back up and I started working on it and I got a lot into it. I really did. Um, it grew quite a bit yesterday. Of course, it is bulky yarn on a size L crochet hook, so it had no choice but to grow rapidly. That's a good way to put it. Um, but I, I, I did get that. And then I was also thinking of, um, because Lori's making more than one project. I didn't know we were going to make more than one project, but some of the other stuff is during our live. I know we're going to do some giveaways. So part of the stuff, there's the idea that, um, some of the things that we give away may be part of the project, or may, some of the things that we make a part of for our challenge may be part of the prizes. And then, uh, you know, Lori and I have um, a few extra skeins of yarn that we could donate to the cause. Let's put it that way. You know, she has a few skeins. I've got a few skeins, you know. Um, yeah, so uh, there's probably going to be some yarn prizes along with this too. All sorts of fun stuff. So uh, thinking about that, it's like, oh, I, I should probably finish my bulky thing soon because we're already middle June. You know, I don't have as much time as I think because it keeps, I'm like, oh, it's July. We're good. Okay, we're past middle June. It's like the 18th of July. Yeah, today's the 18th. We're past middle June. I don't have as much time as I think. So it's like, oh my goodness, I have bulky projects that I have to make. She's she's making a couple smaller projects because I've been watching her channel and she's talking about it and I'm like oh oh I did oh wait wait she, she can't like outdo me right I mean she can but she can't outdo me right I mean you know she's not gonna put the, she's not gonna challenge me and then throw the smack down like that and going oh what'd you make oh you only made one thing look what I did right I could see that I, I could I could so, so see that so I, I gotta I gotta work on some stuff I gotta get on the ball and and get out my crochet hooks and stuff and, and, and make some more things. And, you know, um, I'm not going to lie. If I would have thought about it, stuffing the chicken with a bulky yarn, I might've done it. I'm just saying, you know, and then going, here's my bulky project. Look, it's all on the side. It's there, but I didn't, but that was hilarious. By the way, that, that, that's a good use for bulky yarn. I did not do it, but it's a good use. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that just cracked me up. Because um, it does, I could stuff the bottom with, with the yarn. So it does make, it does make it sit better than just the, the regular polyfill. So I thought that was pretty good. Uh, but anyway, I just wanted to come on and say good morning to everybody. It is still, yep, the sun's starting to come up. If, if it weren't so windy, it, I mean, it is just howling. Uh, you know, we we had the, you have to hold the door and everything, and and we've got um, uh, a, a dog leash and a bungee cord because we have a French door, and uh, you know we've got that on it to where it, the door can't just blow away. You know, so you're holding onto the door, and it's got the bungee cord. You know, in case you lose your grip, because uh, that door would just go off. That door would fly off. Um, if it weren't so windy, I I would have loved to have been out on the back deck because right now it is just starting to get light and it is so pretty to see the sun come up with the with the mountains but not mountains but the the rolling hills and everything behind my house well anyway i'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go hopefully i can get this uploaded and uh, i will talk with you guys later you guys have a great day night evening whatever it happens to be Bye bye